Hey guys, welcome to Personal Finance with Ash. For today's video, I'm going to talk about insurance planning. Essentially, how to plan for your insurance. Most people find it difficult in understanding insurance due to terminologies and product names which most of the time doesn't explain anything. All this only add to the confusion faced by consumers. But it doesn't have to be that way. In here, I summarize three basic elements or coverages that you need to know when you plan to get insured. Number one, life. This is a lump sum of cash which will be claimed out should death occurs to the person insured. Usually, this money will be benefited to the families. Now, here's the roadblock. How much is adequate? 10,000, 100,000, or 1 million? Here's how to calculate your ideal life coverage. First, add up all your liabilities such as car loans, house loans, and credit card debts. This is to ensure that your family have the amount of cash to clear your liabilities when you are no longer here. You wouldn't want to leave your family filled with debt. Second, add your annual family expenses multiply with the number of years you wish to take care of your family. What's the reason for this? Assuming that you are the breadwinner, your family will lose a sum of income when you are gone. But the reality is, your family still needs to survive, paying bills for example. All this in hopes to plan for the best for your family. Third, for those with children, this is very important. A sum of ready education fund for your children so that your children's education will not be compromised in absence of you. Add all this up and there you have it, your ideal life coverage. Number two, income replacement, or some may know it as critical illnesses coverage. This is also a lump sum amount, but this is for the insured. Should any critical illnesses such as cancer, kidney failure or stroke occurs. When this kind of illness hits, rest is highly recommended. Minimum 3 years. This means that instead of stressing out in the office, you can afford to resign and focus fully on your recovery. This is why this is known as income replacement because it's supposed to replace your income when you're no longer able to work. Now here's how to calculate the suitable coverage for yourself. Take your annual income, multiply with the number of resting years you desire, and there you have it, your coverage amount for income replacement. Number 3. Medical card. This is essentially to cover your hospital bills whenever you get admitted for example. But in the current competitive market, there are so many medical cards out there launched by various insurance companies, leaving consumers asking one question, which one? The answer is, there's no one size fits all in this. It all depends on the individual. But here's some rule of thumb to help your decision. In current market, it is advisable to get a medical card with a minimum of 1 million annual limit with no lifetime limit. And make sure this medical card is able to cover at least till 90 years old. There are more to consider in choosing the right medical card, but this is a rule of thumb. To choose your own medical card. As you may have guessed, different life stages requires different kind of insurance planning. Thus, consult your consultant right now to get your insurance planning reviewed and adjust if needed. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share and visit my blog for more articles relating to personal finance. I'll see you guys next time.